Hi, I'm Tony at Animal Trackers Wildlife. Today I want to check out uh, some products that say they can stop squirrels from attacking whatever it is you put them on. Uh, reason being is we're getting some squirrels that are going up underneath cars and chewing the wiring systems. When they do that, you're looking at probably $1,500 in damage and they may go right down the line to your neighbors and your neighbors. And it's probably just one squirrel, one female that's getting ready to have babies and she's looking for that extra protein kick. A lot of these wires are soy based so it's attractive to them. They gnaw on them and they wreck them. They don't even know what they're doing. But uh, you know, short of trapping them, we're going to look at some products that claim they work and we'll test them out. So first we have Critter Ritter. This is a granule powder. You shake it around. Essentially it's got uh, capsaicin and some other junk in there. It doesn't smell too hot. We've got liquid fence. That sounds like it should work. And this has corn mint oil, cinnamon oil, castor oil, things of that nature. Good old mothballs. Gross. Gonna do ammonia soaked rags. Cayenne pepper. And lastly, uh, coyote urine, which I don't have sitting out here, but we'll go get that. And I'm gonna take these peanuts, gonna put them in piles out in the yard where we have lots of squirrels. And I'm gonna run a ring of each product around there. I'm gonna put 20 peanuts in a pile. We'll see what happens. We'll see which peanuts are uh, survivors and which works. And uh, you know, maybe there's something you can put around your car. Who knows? All right, I got all the peanuts laid out. We got 20 in each pile, and I've got seven piles. So we've got six product and one control with nothing on it. Um, they're marked here in their hula hoop ring circles. We're all the same distance apart, pretty much. Some are closer to a tree than others, uh, but I do see the squirrels zipping across this yard every which way, so I'm not that concerned. This isn't that scientific of a project. It's just kind of let's see what happens. Okay, first up, cayenne pepper. We're gonna run it all the way around. Next up, we have mothballs, which are um, made from genuine moths. They smell just like like your grandma's house. All right, next up we have the oddly named liquid fence, but it's actually a powder. It says it gets rid of squirrels and everything else, or at least repels them. It smells disgusting. All right, for this one we have a Critter Ritter by Have a Heart. You always see their traps at the Home Depot. And, um, this one was about 10 bucks, I think. The other one was about 15. But... Okay, this guy gets uh, coyote urine, you know, or um, any other kind of urine you can come across. Lastly, we're going to use ammonia. I can tell you something out here is burning my eyes. That was before I put the ammonia out, so got one of those gross products over there. Ammonia soaked rags, right? How many times have you heard this? Just stick ammonia soaked rags under the stoop and your skunks will be gone. I beg to differ. Okay, I got everything set up. Now I just need to invite 
my buddies the squirrels to get their butts down here and uh, have a feast of peanuts. Let's see which one uh, is the best at deterring your furry friends. See you in a bit. All right, this squirrel is going for the ring that does not have anything on it. He likes that. Oh, here's another one. Another one? Yep. It's right behind the tree. All right, into the Critter Ritter. Critter Ritter is doing nothing to stop him. No problem. Is he going for peanut? It is. And he's laughing at the Critter Ritter. What's happening? Who's the Critter Ritter? Oh, avoiding the ammonia soaked rags. I I could be a school. Alright. Daddy, Oop. my birthday is close to yours, isn't it? Mm-hmm. How many more days? You're gonna be forty eight as well? No. No. All right, we're uh, about three hours into our experiment. So let's have a look and see if we can get an early gauge on what's working and what's not working. Okay, this is the one that has nothing. Every one of them's gone, all 20. Mothballs. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine, 11 gone. Cayenne pepper. Four left. This was um, liquid fence. Still quite a bit left in the liquid fence. Uh, Critter Ritter. I would say maybe one. Surprisingly, the urine. Most of them are still in the urine ring. And the ammonia soaked rags. So the two that I didn't think would work so far being uh, the most effective using urine and ammonia soaked rags, but day's not over, so we'll check back. Oh, the cayenne pepper, no problem. Well, after uh, six hours, come and have a look at everything. Um, the urine still has a bunch. It looks like 16. We got every single peanut is still in the uh, ammonia soaked rag circle. This one here with the liquid um, liquid fence. It's got about nine in there. Um, mothballs have. They have nine also. We've got nothing in the cayenne pepper. Nothing in the critter ritter. So, at least in the short term, the ammonia soaked rags somehow stopped them. Maybe they didn't want to jump over the rag. And the, uh, and the urine also sort of worked. But I'll bet you by tomorrow morning, it'll all be gone. If it's not by these animals, it'll be um, something else. So. I still think the only real way to get rid of them is to trap them. And that's something that a professional can do. And that's something we can do here at Animal Trackers Wildlife. Um, so that's it. Don't forget to hit like, share, subscribe, uh, and all that good stuff. Appreciate it. Thanks. Bye.